Hello everybody, welcome back to Map Making with Sparks. We are not on the traditional server as always. And there is a random floating horse over our head, I don't know why. Um, so, a bit of a deviation from the usual map making series. Um, we are taking part in a charity event, or I'm taking part in a charity event. Um, so this is the mine works, uh, mine works, the uh, mine... Minathon project. Uh, this is Banner Wolf. Uh, he's been organizing more or less the whole thing. Um, really cool guy. I've been talking to him a lot. Uh, I've been helping him with some server hosting stuff. So um, this server is being uh, currently paid for by Accidental Games, although we do have some sponsorship stuff coming along. And basically, uh, it's a big charity event. There's going to be a live stream on the 30th to the 31st of August. And everybody here, um, there's a lot more people taking part. They're just not online right now. They're all building mini games um and then for there's going to be a 24 hour live stream um august 30th to 31st uh and we're hopefully going to be raising a lot of money for charity through this uh we haven't decided on the charity yet but that's coming along soon uh there's still several months until the event actually starts you can see my plot over here which what tnt it is different building on a uh, multiplayer server um and you may notice that my um, you may notice that everybody else's plot is upside down. Mine is the right way up. Um, I have no idea why somebody added dinner to the start of my name there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically, so that's what's going to go on. We are going to be building a mini game for this server. Banner Wolf has uh, requested that I do a very specific game. Um, and I think it's going to be pretty cool. The 24 hour livestream, we've got quite a few sponsorship deals i'm not going to say too much right now i don't know what i'm allowed to say but basically the more youtubers taking part uh each of them are going to be sponsored by the hour for live streaming and it's hopefully going to make a ton of money uh this charity event was run last year and uh they made what is it twenty thousand four hundred dollars i think and that was with a month's organization so we're expecting it to be huge this time so the game that i've been asked to make is uh, a vanilla version of, I think it's called Block Hunt or Prop Hunt. Uh, there is a Gary's Mod version of that game, but there is also a very popular plugin based bucket, I think it's Bucket or some sort of plugin like, plug like that, game called Block Hunt. Um, and I've been asked to make a vanilla ver version of it for this charity event. So we're going to be moving on from Trutanor for a short while. Um, and working on this instead. Okay, I'm very scared right now. Um, we are on the Hive, Hive MC server. I, <laughs> I do not play on multiplayer servers like this ever. Uh, I have been on here once before with Bannerwolf when he was showing me the game that he thought would be cool for me to do. Uh, there are plugins and scary things that aren't vanilla redstone, and I don't understand. Um, I'm not. Oh look! Oh my god! I did it! I remembered. I right-click on the quick transit thing. We want to go for the right, the right one. Um, I can't remember what the icon for it is. Hide and seek. Is that what it's called? I think this is what it's called. Hide and seek. Yeah. Prop hunt. Hide and seek. I think this might be it. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking a little bit at this. So obviously we've got to change the format a little bit because do I have tokens? What are tokens? I have tokens. Thousand tokens. Uh, okay, sorry. This this video is not about me exploring multiplayer servers for the first time but we are going to try and work out how to join one of these games most of you guys must be face palming right now um but yeah i'm going to join one of these games i have played this game before once and i'm just going to be sort of looking at the mechanics behind the game so you can get an idea of how it works let's join this one you can probably join by clicking it right so I've noticed in the lobby, I can actually choose which block I want to be. And I've chosen crafting bench. So 
As I understand it, in this game we have to run and try and find a place to stand where we're going to blend in. Um, I'm explaining the rules, I'm assuming a lot of people know this already, but, you know, um, there may be people like me who just don't have a clue. <laughs> so we need to try and find somewhere before the time is up that a workbench would hide well in. We do not take full damage, that's interesting. Um, oh dear. Let's go right here. And then, if you stand still, which includes not moving your, um, not moving your mouse, you become a solid workbench. I, there. So, as far as the rest of the game is concerned, I think I appear as a solid block, right? Uh, and I'm probably in a very conspicuous place, actually. If I move my mouse I thought if I moved my mouse I would stop being solid but no it looks like <laughs> I think these are all other blocks all other workbenches but so I stay still and I turn into a solid block um there are some problems with solid blocks that I see coming along I thought I couldn't move my mouse I wonder if that's changed it has been a little while since I played it so you can see other players appear as blocks I don't think I can punch people who are also blocks. So lots of things to consider. Uh, there is a countdown timer so that the game can't go forever. And I believe if I am discovered... Oh. That's interesting. So I now have a sword and a cookie. I can't eat the cookie. Block info in the boss bar. So it's like an info thing. And a wooden sword. So I can now defend myself. Can I attack other players? Nope. Um, and it looks like... So we've got a countdown timer so the game doesn't go on too long. That's good. And it looks like it's not a last person standing wins uh, if I am still a block when the time runs out, then I win. And anyone else who's a block also wins. I don't know. <laughs> um, if you want to skip ahead to when we get started on the map or something... I might actually supply a link or something. Uh, so, it's kind of interesting. Um, we want to choose blocks which are easily mixed. Um, which is kind of cool. I'm pretty sure I've just stood next to two random guys here who are actually helping me camouflage myself because otherwise I would have been the only word bench in here. Uh, yeah, and what else can we see? We've got a countdown timer when we, when we move. I bet if I move even like a if I shift, does it... Okay. I just moved a tiny bit. Okay, so I can actually move around within this space. It doesn't turn me into a non-solid block. I wonder how I look different when I'm not moving. Like, if I jump, I'm still fine. If I... Yeah, I moved in the X and Z. And that turned me into a non-solid block. Okay, so you can see a guy stood over there. I think his block isn't fully centered. It might even be smaller. Hmm. <gasps> I see a person. Where are you going, guy? I want to know what happens if you attack me. Oh, he's gone. I'm going to go and look, see what's around. <laughs> So we've got sort of crates with groups of blocks in them. So I would sit quite nicely in here because I'm a workbench. Oh, I think I won. My first game on there since whenever and I won. Not bad. Not bad. I might try, I might play again and see if I can get myself killed so I can have a look at the other side of the game. Hey guys, so I'm um, change of plan. I'm now playing this game with a couple of the people from the um, from the project, Banner Wolf, and they've agreed to show me how to play mini games on servers. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go and do some research. Yeah, definitely not just playing. <laughs> all in all in the name of science. For, For science. science. Yep. For gaming and <laughs> science. For aperture science. By the way, anybody watching who can who can tell me um, what Banner Wolf skin is referencing gets like a thousand points. 
because Kellogg. his skin references like the, the most awesome King. thing ever. The Lion King, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm sticking with Kellogg's. Kellogg's, nope, not Kellogg's. James, are we doing our normal plan? Uh, yeah, let's do the normal plan. Okay. Oh, we're going. Are we going? Yeah, yeah. For they, have a, they have a plan. They have a plan. We played this game that many oh. times. Oh, well, I Even don't know, I know what I'm plan. doing. I've played this game way too many times. I don't know the plan. I'm just gonna sit in this room. Just Actually, hang on. No, 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 no. I've already, I've already recorded me being a block and winning the first game I ever played by pure chance. I'm gonna try and get myself killed and play as a seeker just to see how the game plays from that side. Or is that not how you play this game? I'm over here, guy. I'm over here. Come on. He hasn't hit me yet. I'm just <laughs> running circles around him. I'm gotcha. punching him with my fist. So is this how the game is played? <laughs> it's called hide and seek. Yes, there's a beacon. He's come to help me. <laughs> We're just beating on this guy. <laughs> is that... I think you're a meanie. I think I just killed him. See? You're a meanie. Uh, so yeah, I just killed two seekers. Oh, I want dead. them to kill me. Uh oh. Oh, I'm dead. I didn't notice. Ah. <laughs> That's why I get texting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't text. Oh, hello, Tiffan. I'm a multi Ow. This is <laughs> Wait, kill me. Dead? I want to be a seeker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like, my mouth is like dead, you're gonna kill me. <laughs> I killed her! <laughs> I just wanna die! <laughs> oh, my mouth is dead. I don't Why think I'm you? playing this game very well. No, you're not. God damn it, I knew if I did that. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna kill me. <laughs> Either. Can you please come on one more hit? There we go. Okay, I'm now in a room. The Am I the last one alive? Is, me? <laughs> is somebody <laughs> asking if I'm Captain Sparkles yes, in asking, the chat? Asking if you're Captain Sparkles. <laughs> There's 17 hiders. Tempted to plug my channel so much right now. <laughs> Captain Sparkles. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. Oh, okay. oh, there's a workbench here. Oh, this is way too sensitive now. I can't see anything. Uh, uh, What's that hissing so... sound? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> What's, the, like What's the hissing noise? Everyone is right around me. I'm really scared. Does anybody know what the hissing yes, noise is? Keep walking. You're supposed to be teaching me! I'm recording this for a map making episode, and it's gonna be like, <laughs> so watch me fail at playing games instead of the map making you were expecting. Thanks. <laughs> That's how we work. Aww. <laughs> Captain died. Sparkles is dead. Oh no, Tia. Oh god, let's keep it dying. Oh god. Okay, so when you die, there's a cooldown period. Of forever. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I've got a sword. Ooh. Don't encourage them. Yes. <laughs> Not Captain Sparkles. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. The um the blocks and you've played this game a lot. The blocks in the level do they randomise each time or can you like learn where there are blocks? Yeah, there are mm -hmm. certain blocks that are standard to certain maps. So yeah, but you can purchase other blocks. That's you know what's the tokens you get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I always end up purchasing the stupid ass fucking block. So. I've worked out what the hissing noise is. It's when you click on something that looks like a player but isn't. Like, repeatedly. Oh, just, yeah. I think it's to stop you spamming it, it, your it, sword. Um, it's supposed to reduce your durability, so... Oh, my God, somebody just walks right Basi by me. That's basically, scary. the more you use your sword, the less of a knockback it has when you hit that block. Okay. So, um, That's interesting. It's kind of a good thing, because if you knock someone back, fly, and then you got to chase them. Yeah. Not really sure how you'd redo that in vanilla, but I mean we're gonna potentially gonna have to simplify a thing or two. Um, 
But there you go. I bought, I got a package. I upgraded enough to the point. So you cheated. Oh God, is that a person? Not really. Oh yes, it is, and I'm gonna uh, run. Freedom! Freedom! freedom Fox, freedom. you were hitting <laughs> leaves which were floating. Do you really think? No, they would have. I, no, I was wondering whether they would make uh, the hissing sound yeah, if I hit them. I'm gonna die. Actually. Right, so you walked into the room, then Lock you walked back out. Okay, then. Wait, what, what's this cookie do? Are you following me? What's the cookie Maybe. do? <laughs> I don't I see be, you. I'm not following you. Are you an airbag? guy just saw me. I, and I am hidden. I am like a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't kill me, Captain Sparkles. <laughs> no. Uh, don't call Melon me Captain room protect. Sparkles. <laughs> Melon room protect. Melon room. Where'd you go? I died. <laughs> Oh, okay. No, 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 no. There's no, no warning, no, you just vanished. No, 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 no. No, 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 Oh. Oh, please don't hurt me, I'm just an innocent teapot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look in chat. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. God. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Dang I survived! I survived! I survived! Oh, man, I did not foresee this problem with my name. <laughs> So, so Faris, you're a builder, right? How do you feel about making a one of these? Hide and seek. Yeah, hide and seek. That's what it's called. One of these maps. Because yeah, they're, they're quite I, easy to do. You just have to remember to re remove certain blocks so people can like hide in them. That's yeah. gonna drive you okay. insane. Because uh, I'm I if, <laughs> if you leave the building up to me, as I said earlier, I'm just gonna make a blank room, like a square cube that's hollow. Oh, block. oh my god. Yeah. Two so. Girls. <laughs> Yeah, oh if you want to take on the building, that'd be awesome. And yeah, I'm like thinking about. I reckon I can do it so that the blocks randomize every time, <laughs> so that there's like certain blocks which spawn or despawn. Banner, you look. Banner, like you're just surrounded by you. women. <laughs> I know. I know. I don't know. They're all. Going. They're all just like, oh, he's Everybody so cute. I want to stroke his fur. Oh yes. Everybody likes kissing. This is why I like the skin. Because <laughs> <laughs> it gets you damn pixels. I'm here, Lion King. <laughs> no, not those pixels. <laughs> oh, girls. And no one wants a part of Captain Sparkles. Aww. Mind you, Hobbs. Hobbs was a bit of a a bit of a chick so, magnet uh, as Hannah? well. Is she hiding from everyone? No. No, Hannah's. <gasps> I found her. Don't hurt him. Look at him on eBay. You're... For, what are you trying to buy? More boyfriends. Uh, yeah, you're, of you're just egging She's people on. Got three. I'm not Captain <laughs> Sparkles. I know we're Oh well. Town Square. Town oh. Square. No this. workbench for me. Okay, handle. I never like the blocks to click now, I'm not gonna tell you. Otherwise that'd be helping you. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I now know what Captain Sparkles feels like. There's a girl stood in front of me like shifting repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it's like to be around women. Oh. <laughs> Lots of shifting. I never knew. <laughs> Shit's clicking. What happens if you stand in the same space as somebody else and then you both solidify? Yeah, oh, that can't work. happen. One will get pushed out. The person that was there first gets kicked. Okay. Oh, first, Technically, you second. get um, a very awkward like poking in the side of your leg. <laughs> I'm I'm, so I'm stood in a leaf block. Into wool. I killed somebody. I feel like a murderer. Uh, same. For some reason, we've got quite the glitching problem here. Yeah, people keep going into walls. I think it might be broken. Damn, leaf I'm block! Right now it's in taking the... my space! Has someone actually oh, that's done? me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm stood inside <laughs> you and I can't solidify. Awesome. Cool. So that's it? That, that'll do me, I think. Thanks for teaching me awesome. how to play. I learned a little bit, actually, so that's cool. Alright, and we're back on the Minathon server. I guess that's the that's the name for it at the moment. Whoops. Um so we've got two other people on. We've got Octavagon and Cookie Man. <laughs> uh, the scoreboard on the side there is his. Uh, this is how things differ. Now the biggest problem we're gonna have with this with this project is say I am a workbench and I stand still, right? And I stand still and I turn into a solid block. This happens. Oh, that doesn't happen. Um, what's it called? Workbench? 
crafting table probably. There we go. Watch this. See that? See how you slide out of the block? That is the big problem. So, you know, you're standing still and you turn to a solid block and then because there's a solid block there, you, you've moved. Um, and therefore you would become an unsolid block. Uh, things like that. I mean, there's a, and there's a, it's a, it's the biggest problem with this whole idea, really. Um, so f one thing you could do is place yourself in a corner and then, oh, <laughs> hang on. I've not tried this. I've been told this might work. Oh God. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? No, I can't really stay inside it at all. Um, it just pushes you out. Uh, and that is the biggest issue. Um, and there's a couple of things we could do to fix this. Uh, each more ridiculous than the last. Uh, the first one, the, the more one I'm probably never going to do because it's a bad idea, is um, using custom texture packs. So we sit people inside blocks that aren't they aren't pushed out of. There's a helicopter going by outside, sorry. So for instance, you could get uh, a torch that doesn't push you out uh, and you have a texture pack which changes that to look like a crafting table or whatever block you are representing um, but the, there's a huge problem with that in that people do not have to have a texture pack and it would mean that it would be very easy to work out who is what and stuff like that so that is that is a big problem uh, one option would be to do this um, so wherever you go crafting table appears underneath you and you walk around on top of the block that you represent um, there are numerous problems with this as well as you can see I am flying up um, and that's not good at all uh, and yeah there's quite a lot of problems with this can I make it back down to the ground yes I can <laughs> Um, so you can sort of see how it works here. If it's um, this command block clock over here, uh, this bit here is filling the air directly below you with crafting tables, so it doesn't replace other blocks, just air. Um, and then that command block there is in a um, eight squared radius around you. It's deleting any crafting tables uh, and replacing them with air. Uh, you can actually, it's kind of glitchy if you watch. Like, what's going on? Oh. Oh, it's horrible. Uh, that works a lot less well than I, a lot less weller than I thought it would. <laughs> um, and I mean, there there are problems with that. Um, oops. Maybe we could do it so that it only sets it. No, it's it's not going to work like that. I don't think. Um, another option would be to make a clock constantly summon a falling sand entity, which looks like a crafting table at our feet. Let's try that. So it. So it turns out that I do not remember how to how to summon falling sand with custom data. So Octavagon here is kindly helping me. <laughs> He's been there a while. Don't have the heart to move him. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping block data, time, drop item, motion. Oh. That's a lot of tags. There's a lot more tags than I remember. Type falling sand. Uh, this isn't... Oh, summon falling sand, block, data, time, drop item, motion, Hurt entities, full hurt amount. Okay, I think I can get rid of quite a few of those tags potentially. Uh, okay. Thanks. Great. I'll modify these then, I guess. Okay, here's another option. Um, this is the falling sand. So, all I've got is this one command here, and it is basically on behalf of the nearest player in this case, summoning some falling sand, which it looks like a crafting table, and it has a very important tag time zero which means that it despawns as soon as it spawns but we're summoning it so quickly that it looks like a solid block um, this 
this might be the solution um, because I can stand in this fine because it's not actually there. It's there so quickly it doesn't push me. Um, the problem, however, is if I just... Um, hang on. If you see that, I've just summoned it at a distance now, it doesn't really look like a real solid block, does it? Um, if I put a block under it, does that help? It does. Now, I think... I think my worry is, firstly, it's not solid at all, which means that uh, you can work out if some, if it's not really there because you can walk through it and you can work out that it's a person. Um, my other worry is that this relies on people having a good connection because of this clock running. If I had a really bad connection, I might try and like upload a video quickly and see what happens because I think if I'm not connected to the server properly, this might flicker more because I'm not so connected. Let me just check this. Okay, I'm uploading a video. We're now simulating somebody with bad internet. So listen, if I press th put this down. Do you hear the delay? It's quite a, about a second of delay. I'm very pleased to see, even while I'm uploading a video, this seems alright. Ah, see, it's, it's glitchier if there's nothing under it. But if I put a solid block under it, it seems to be doing okay, actually. This might be our solution. Um, we have a maximum of 24 players. I don't know how laggy it would be to have 24 of these constantly spawned sand entities, but uh, since each one's been deleted quite quickly, we should see it destroyed fairly quickly. Yeah, we don't really have a very high entity count. Um, our... Oh, all the coordinate positions have changed. I can't see where my connection is. Let's have a look at our ping. See, I've still got a fairly okay ping. I've got two bars. Oops. Oh dear. So, that might be the solution. Um, the final option I have to consider is I'm going to try and see what happens if I try and teleport myself to the center of the block when it's sort. Did you just see that? That was... That's how laggy I am when I upload a video, by the way. I'm just going to cancel that upload and we're going to try one more thing. Yeah, this isn't working very well. Um, I have a command block here, which is uh, teleporting myself to myself. And I was hoping it would freeze me in place, uh, but it doesn't seem to be doing that at all. It seems to be affecting me in no way, which isn't good. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm a crafting bench. As you can see. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Um, I'm in F5 mode right now. And this should affect anyone else who comes over here. I'm going to see if I can get some people over here. Oh, I fell. I can't steer like this. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I need to switch out of this mode. Let's try that. There we go. <laughs> well, he looks like a crafting table to me. <laughs> um, when he's in the air, we have a problem. Um, but this is looking okay. This looks all all right if people aren't in the air. <laughs> that looks a lot better than I thought it would, I have to say. Um, he looks solid to me. Um, we can stand inside each other, which is potentially a problem. But uh, this is a good start, I think. Uh, not, not a bad start at all. <laughs> um, I think this could be quite fun. Uh, it's going to be a little disconcerting, maybe, not being able to see yourself. Although I might be able to turn it on so you can uh, see yourself. Although, you know, when you're in sing when you're in first player perspective, it's not actually not that bad. Um, so I think it'll be okay. Uh, it's a bit weird when you jump, but yeah. So that's basically the first episode. It's going to be a little different from later episodes uh, because... I don't know, I had to learn about the game a little bit. I had to introduce everything. So you can expect some usual sort of map making with Spark style videos to follow. But 
Uh, if you have any other ideas for how to do this workbench stuff, um, feel free to post because I know that a lot of my viewers have really great ideas. So feel free to make suggestions. If we could somehow make the block solid when somebody stood still, um, that'd be fantastic. So uh, <laughs> thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you all next time.